The Palestinian ambassador to Nigeria, Abdullah Abu Shawish, has called on the international community to urgently enforce international law and uphold UN resolutions in light of the escalating violence in Palestine. Abu Shawish made this known during a press briefing in Abuja, the nation's capital. He recounted the numerous human loss with the death toll of over 40,000 Palestinians killed and more than 94,000 injured majority being women, children, and the elderly, calling on the international community to act and out pressure on Israel to end the hostilities. The ongoing United States of America-Israeli massacres of Palestinians are a wake-up call for all humanity around the world. They do not only target the Palestinian people, but in fact target the current economic and political orders that ruled the world after World War II, which no longer serve the interest of U.S. homogeny and some Western empires. They are deliberately streaming and televised the genocide and turning their back to the international law in a clear message to the economy, to the country of South. Unless you all accept the upcoming economic and political rules and system, you will face the same fate of the Palestinian people. As of th Tuesday, September 3rd, the death toll has risen to 40,738, with the injured have risen raising to 94,154, while thousands are still missing under the rubble. It goes without saying that 70% of them are innocent women and children. It is not only women and children who make the majority of Palestinian victims, but also the el elderly Gazans, with about 4% of innocent victims being elderly. The total number of Palestinians arrested stand at 10,400 citizens from the West Bank since October 7 including 725 children, 400 women, and 98 journalists. Over 60 Palestinians have died in the Israeli custody in recent months, many due to the medical neglect. As all of the boys and girls return to school these days, around 600,000 Gazans are denied the right to education for the second year in a row due to the ongoing Israeli war. To make the matter worse, around 70% of UNRWA school have been destroyed or damaged, and the majority of them are overcrowded shelters, housing hundreds of thousands of displaced families. The Israeli war is not limited to Gaza, but also extended to the occupied West Bank, including East Jerusalem, where settlers thug are combined by the occupation soldiers are attacking Palestinian communities in a daily basis. In the West Bank, since the beginning of the war, 681 Palestinians have been murdered, and nearly 6,700 have been have injured some of the world's biggest arm exporters. On top of them, the United States of America are continuing to openly float the rules of the armed trade treaty through unlawful arm transfer, leading to a devastating losses of life in conflict zones such as the occupied Palestinian territory, 500 transport plan, and 107 ships have delivered more than 50,000 tons of armament and military equipment from the United States of America to Israel since the start of the war in Gaza last October. States party and signatory of the armed trade treaty, including the United States of America, has large largest provider of arms to Israel, continue to license army transfer to Israel in spite of overwhelming evidence of war crime committed by the Israeli forces. Do I reveal a secret when I say that the United States of America and some other Western countries are wagging a war against the Palestinian people? Of course not. I would like to repeat this exact sentence. Do I reveal a secret? 
when I say that the United States of America and other Western countries are waging a war against the Palestinian people? Of course not. We call on the international community to stand strong and firmly to enforce international law, to adopt the adopted UN resolutions, and to utilize all political, economic, and legal and diplomatic tools at its disposal to stop the ongoing American-Israeli carnage and the bloodshed.